Hey y'all, it's Delaya. Um, decided to give you a behind the scenes look of what I'm gonna do today. Um, excuse my hair, I just got up and we are getting ready. So today I am going downtown for the first time. I live in California, downtown Los Angeles is the fashion district. So I'm going down there to get some stuff for um, my next project, which you will see later and some stuff for Pessies and Babies. So I'm going to take you along with me today in my adventure. So right now I'm just getting ready for the day. I get myself ready first and then I get the child ready. So the child is knocked out sweet. Hopefully she stays that way till I'm done. So I will be back when I'm all hygiene and whatnot. My hygiene's taken care of. Um, all right. We have a camera. Make sure you do some bold things, because I think I'm gonna rock my shirt like this today. No, I'm not ashamed of my stomach post-pregnancy and my stretch marks. Um, I've just always been self-conscious about my stomach. See, this is what it looks like. Not that bad. I put on weight afterwards. Um, but no, I normally don't do midriff things, but this is a big t-shirt and it's supposed to be hot today downtown. So I'm gonna try this out today. I might fix it because my self-consciousness might get the better of me, but we'll see. I'm gonna find some shoes to put on. It's gonna be sneakers. Um, so I am ready, basically. I'm a little bit more alert after my whole um, get ready routine. I'm not a morning person. I have washed my face um, and I exfoliated it and brushed my teeth. I put some cream on my hair because it was looking some dry, a dry mess. Um, I'll link everything below on what I use on when I get ready. So right now, since I'm done, all I need to do is put on my shoes. It's time to get the child done, who I kind of really don't want to wake up, but she kind of needs to. So let's go do that. Yeah, my place is a mess. I'm sorry. Let's turn on some lights. This is the baby. She's sleeping. Hi, the sleepy baby. She likes to cuddle with things. Her teddy bear. Are you ready? There you go. <laughs> Stretch it out, baby girl. Time to get ready. Can we get ready, please? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Where are you going? Okay, so I just dropped the child off at Auntie Julia's, and Julia's, um, and I am about to go pick up something to eat before going downtown because I hate being hungry downtown because those street hot dogs smell so good, but I'm not buying a street hot dog. Um, so I'm going to go to Taco Bell and then I actually have to map my way back to downtown because it's been 
probably two years since I've been down there, so I would say it's a little nostalgic, but it's like downtown LA, so it's not really nostalgic because it's kind of gross. So I'm just hoping it's not grosser than what it was the last time I've been down there. I've seen some pretty eh, stuff down there. All right, so I will come back um, when I'm downtown. I also changed my outfit because it is hot as, I don't even have an analogy for it, but it's gonna be hotter um, today, so I put on shorts, so I'll let you see that later. Midriff is still kind of out, kind of not. Um, I'll probably just pull it all the way out when I get to downtown. All right, so I'm downtown now. I got meter parking, which is amazing. Parking lot parking is like $10 all day, and meter parking you get two hours for an hour so I am glad about that it was a little wind um, so right now I'm gonna start off and try and find the fur because that might be the most expensive thing that I buy so I'm gonna get that out the way first um, like I said no nostalgia we just here yeah we'll see how this goes When looking for fur, you don't want it to feel rough and gross. I mean, faux fur. I don't want to kill animals. Let's see. I don't like how much it pulls. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I'm just feeling everything. <laughs> Looking at this fur has me hot. Like, you don't even know. You don't even know. Okay, I think I like this one. Oh, but we have this. What's this? Five dollars each. Is this big enough? That might be good. I don't know. These are the thoughts we go through when I buy fabric. Oh, I'm not good at decisions. This is softer. Mm. How much is this? You buy something? Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> How much is this one? This one is 18 a yard. 18 a yard? Yes. Okay. And then... How many yard is it? This one yard, I think. Well, this one is, this one is 35. That one is 72 inches wide. This one is 60. 60, okay. Um, this one is wider. More fabric. Yeah. That's why it's more expensive. Yeah, I got it. I got that. Um, Let's go with the black one. Because that can this be one? kept clean. Yeah, one yard, please. One yard? Yes. Okay, so right now just bought the fur and the lining for the purse. It came out to about, ooh, came out to about 35, which is good because when I went to Joann's, the fur itself would have been 35. So we're already saving money. So now I have to find the chain for the straps. Yeah. Okay.
No, not if I do a satin loop. I can do a satin loop. We just call it a day. I'm getting ready for this. Excuse me, my little guy. I like to fix things when I come to these stores. Okay. Now I need help. I'm not aggressive. You should be when you come to LA though. What are you gonna do? I think I want two of those also. For those DIY shoes I want to do. I wish they were bigger though. Well, that's what I want to Look at all the sparkles. Can I get some? Um, can I get three yards? Three. Okay. Or how much is it? This one, it's five dollars a yard. Okay. You take a roll, it's four dollars. How roll much is on a roll? Five yards. Twenty dollars. Five yards. Instead of five, you pay four. You're saving five dollars. I'm trying to see if there's like projects I can do with it. It's, it's only five years. Um, no, more than five. No, it no. Just three? Yeah, give me three. Okay. If I could think of other things, I would do it, but. Two? Oh, wait, is that three? You know what? Give me, give me a roll. Así le, así me dijo, pues si le digo que no me va a dar. Juan. Ahí está. Give me four. 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 But you said four, five dollars a yard for four. Five, five yards is twenty. But how much? How much is it a yard? It's twenty already. That's twenty. Okay, give me a roll. <laughs> yeah, give me a roll. <laughs> There's a lot of math to do downtown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the roll, by the gross, the button, or all the things. But when you take a piece, few pieces, a few yards, prices are really Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's a lovely roll. Okay, thank you. This is five yards. All right. She's looking for the rose, too, huh? <laughs> um, can I see the rose? Yeah, give me the rose. Can I see? Uh, no, it's actually for a purse I'm doing. It's oh, for a purse a, with a chain. That is going to be creative. Yeah. Because you can see right over there. I can see it, yeah. <laughs> I can see it all the way. Yeah. Okay, these are mine. Four out of four out of 20. Mm -hmm. 20. So how much were these then? 50 cents. And then these are how much each? 10. And this is 25. Yeah. How much is it? 28? Yes. Back. Yes, please. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Can I get a, um, a card? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so I just finished buying the trim for the fur purse. I've got the chain and I got a little something extra for my rhinestone house shoes. So, or my crystal house shoes, so stop saying rhinestone. Um, so when you're downtown, you always want to keep a check on your list to make sure that you're buying what you need to buy because it's very easy to buy things that you don't need um, if you're that kind of a creative because you see something you're like, ooh, I could do something with this and then you buy it and you probably will never use it. So just remember to keep a check on your list if you want to save those coins. Right now, I need to find some sequence background. 
So that is what I'm going to do now. I don't want to spend that much. My goal is like $5 a yard. And then I got to find closures for this purse. So stay with me. Extra tip, if you're downtown and doing stuff for business, make sure you ask for a receipt uh, because they really don't give it to you. It's not that they're trying to shade you or anything. It's just not really done. But for business stuff, you need that receipt for taxes. So I just had to walk back to the trim store and get my receipt because I forgot. Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. I just kind of did my first negotiation. Kind of feel special. Homeboy still around, so I'll tell you afterwards. I don't really like that. Yeah, do you want to take it to the yard? No, two. Okay, you have to be I cut. Okay. Okay, another color? Black? Um, yeah, black and then the gold. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just um, negotiated my first deal. He wanted $6 a yard for the sequins. Um, I was like, uh, I can't really do that, so I'm going to go. He was like, um, how many yards do you need? And I said, I only need two yards, but in three different colors. And he was like, fine. I was like, but I need it for $4. He was like, no, I can't do that. So he gave it to me for 5 which cut off, we'll say $6, so I'm okay with that. It was a little bit of an ego boost. It was actually my first negotiation, which is pretty sad, considering I've been coming downtown since, what, 2012, 2013? So yeah, it's a small win for me. I think I've become a little bit more aggressive in my old age. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. It's a good adventure. Let's turn this around so you can see where I'm going. Right now, I'm making my way to Michael Levine. 